News of Javid Zarif's arrival came when his plane landed at the airport. It was then confirmed by French officials. He'd been invited at short notice for talks with his French opposite number, Jean-Yves Le Drian. And then, according to this tweet, President Macron joined in. Zarif said, Iran's active diplomacy in pursuit of constructive engagement continues. Met Emmanuel Macron on the sidelines of the G7 in Beritz. He went on to say that he briefed the UK and Germany. The road ahead is difficult, but worth trying. There had been hints of a breakthrough. Earlier, President Emmanuel Macron announced he'd been sanctioned by G7 leaders to continue informal diplomacy to reduce tensions. No member of the G7 wants Iran to have nuclear weapons. And secondly, all the members of the G7 are deeply attached to stability and peace in the region and therefore do not want to undertake any action that could cause harm. Other G7 leaders have been alarmed by President Donald Trump's abandonment of the Iran nuclear deal and his tough new sanctions. It wasn't clear President Trump was that enthusiastic about Zarif's arrival. No comment. A surprise development suggests progress has been made despite American skepticism. Summits like this are usually micromanaged affairs with very little room for improvisation or drama. So Javid Zarif's 11th hour invitation, while Donald Trump and his hawkish delegation were still in town, was highly unusual. There's been little progress on the US-China trade war, however, with President Trump resisting appeals to abandon tit-for-tat tariffs. For the UK's Boris Johnson, this is his first major summit. Brexit dominates. There were warm words over a breakfast meeting with Trump, both men talking up a future trade deal. Don't talk about that. Despite the positive body language, his meeting with the EU's Donald Tusk later was probably less productive. I think it's, it's, going to be, it's going to be touch and go, but the important thing is to get ready to come out without a deal. On Sunday, the normal G7 group was expanded to include leaders from Africa, India and elsewhere. The French hosts insisting that the official agenda of addressing inequality, climate change and girls' education are simply too big for the G7 to deal with alone. Simon McGregor with TRT World, Beeritz.